everyone has a story to tell. Education is the process of facilitating learning or the acquisition of knowledge, skills, values, morals, beliefs, habits, and personal development. It brings a great change in our life. Life becomes prosperous and meaningful. It is the foundation of human development. Let us witness the story of our grandmother and grandfather about their experiences in education before. What were their aims in going to school? Her aims in going to school were to finish schooling and have a proper learning and a high profit job so that she can help her parents and help them raise her siblings. Unfortunately, she doesn't able to finish schooling because their lack of financial assistance. Grandfather before believes that no matter how hard your life was, he strived to go to school every day in order to have a better job and high salaries someday to lift his family from poverty. My grandmother said that she's aiming in going to school so that she can get a well-paid work wherein they can get a high salary in order to survive and help her siblings and family. My grandmother is only grade 1 student before. She want to go to school to pursue her dreams and to give a better life for their parents because of lack of financial. She has stopped in going to school, but she knows how to read, count, and especially she knows how to write. This is her key on her success because she think a small business before that business is now very successful. Education provides stability in life and it's something that no one can ever take away from you. How does schooling before different in the present time? Lola Leonora said that going to school before was very hard for her because her family was lack of financial assistance to support her needs and there is no technology before that could help them on learning. In contrast to that, today's generation the education is more advanced and the students were able to study their lessons more advanced. And also, the government were helping students in going to school by offering a financial educational assistance that could support them in their schooling. He said that there are lack of equipments and resources. They don't have enough books to study and they cannot immediately locate the answers of their homeworks, unlike now that we have the internet different kinds of dictionaries and books. Schooling before was hard because they study on their own. Unlike today's generation, there are a lot of technology and internet that students can rely on while they study. My grandmother said that the differences between the schooling before and today is that before, they are lacking of books and they have to do walking before they arrived in school. Unlike today, we have technology and some transportation to go to school easier and faster. My grandmother said that schooling before was hard because they study on their own and both of their parents cannot teach her because her parents wake up early to go in the farm. Unlike today's generation, there are a lot of technology and you can use Google in answering modules and etc. What were their difficulties or concerns about going to school? She said that before her family were living very far from the school. She needs to wake up early and walk every day so that she can arrive to school early. Additionally, her father and mother were just a farmer so she didn't have any allowance and couldn't afford to buy enough materials for schooling. Back then, there was no proper educational settings for them to learn well because there was no building establishments. Their difficulties were lack of financial and they should have wake up early to walk going to school. His difficulties or concerns about going to school every day or feeding their animals before going to school and walk from their home to school, waking up early in the morning in order to get guava fruit and barter it with a paper from his fortunate classmates. The difficulty she really experienced before is that they are lack of financial assistance and it is not enough for them to study simultaneously with her six siblings. 
Her difficulties or concern about going to school is she wake up early because their school is very far from their house and they walk 5 kilometers to reach their school. What are our insights or reflection on their experiences? Today, I already knew how difficult their schooling before. They may be lack of financial or lack of transportation that doesn't stop them continuing their studies. So as a young, I realized that even we have a lot of difficulties in our studies, in the end only me and my family can still benefit from my hard work. The education before was quite challenging and the people before was determined to go to school but sadly they stopped because of the common reason, the lack of financial assistance. But still, they are looking for the way on how to survive in life. And we, as an individual in this new generation who is aiming to reach our dreams, keep going and keep pursuing it because we finally make it. It is not only our success but also to our family. We are all aware of how challenging their education was. They may be unable to continue their studies and pursue their life goals due to lack of financial resources. As a result, as a new generation, we must recognize we, too, face numerous challenges in our studies. In the end, only my family and I will benefit from my efforts. I found out their educational challenges. They previously struggled to get to school due to a lack of transportation, financial assistance, and other concerns. However, we may now travel to and from school with ease and convenience. They are still lucky for they were able to study and demonstrate to everyone that they are capable despite having experienced various challenges throughout their lives. Life is sometimes easy and sometimes hard, but the choice will always end up with ourselves. The people before are much hard working than the people nowadays because I realize how much struggles my grandfather experienced before but still managed to finish four years in elementary and we as a student now have many complaints about our activities even though we already have enough resources for our studies. I realize that nothing is impossible with your dreams if you only will not stop chasing them. The great aim of education is not knowledge but action. 